And just like that, signing number five, signed, sealed and delivered, Matteo Sarkic is a lion. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. As always, just click that red button. It's free. It takes about 20 seconds, not even that. Hello, welcome back to Behind Closed Doors, episode 86. And the championship season is just a matter, a matter of days away now. But Millwall have signed Matteo Sarkic on a permanent deal worth £1.2 million. You are seeing this because the deal has been agreed and the deal is done. Matteo Sarkic is a lion. If all goes well, you will be seeing this video. I am pretty confident now. The news broke by the through the reliable eyes and ears of John Percy that the Lions have agreed a permanent deal with the Premier League outfit worth £1.2 million and the goalkeeper will come in to SC16 to replace Jules Long. Um, look, I don't really know anything about him. If you've seen my video that I put out yesterday on him, I'm, I said yesterday because this is going out tomorrow um, in line of the hopefully depending of a um, the pending announcement um, but look Mac Matteo Sarkic if all goes well will become Mill fifth signing of the summer and I'm all over it look I don't know anything about him really I'm not going to see it inside though but I'm telling you now he is an upgrade on Jules Long the 26 year old will be coming in on a permanent deal and that will probably allow Jules Long to look for a permanent um, a temporary exit away from the den um and like I said, I'm all over it. He looks, he looks dominant. He looks commanding. He commands his area. He he does in the little clips that I put together on him yesterday. If you haven't done it, if you haven't checked that out, go and check it out. It's on my channel already. He looks like a proper goalkeeper. He looks like he's got a presence about him. Um, he looks like he provides a little bit more belief in the players playing in front of him. Um, he's he's good at commanding his box. He's got a good kick on him, and most of all, he does what a goalkeeper does, and he's meant to do, which is save the ball. And look, we've fought off competition from our championship rival Birmingham City that were also wanting him on a permanent deal after his loan with them last season, I do believe. But earlier in the window, we wasn't in this race at all because he was meant. to to go and join Stoke City on the same deal that we've agreed with Wolves, which is two point one point two million pounds. So he would have been a Wolf, uh, he would have been a Stoke City player, but that fell through for whatever reason. Millwall took advantage, and hopefully, because you are seeing this, Matteo Sarkic is our new number one. Um, and I'm all over it. Please drop your comments down below. Um, Apparently, we might want one or two more by the end of close, um, by the end of play, sorry, in September, when the window closes. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. And I'm going to say, welcome on board to Matteo Sarkic. I will put his first interview in this video. So, thank God we got a new number one, eh? Come on, you lines. Matthias Sharkic, welcome to Millwall. Gary Rowett's fifth signing of the summer. You must be delighted to be here, but what were the factors that made your decision clear that you wanted to join Millwall? Um, first of all, I'm very excited to be here and to get going uh, to start the season. Um, factors are, you know, it's a big project. Um, there's a new training ground that's going to get built. Um, I know some of the players here already and, and also the change of lifestyle coming to London as well. Uh, the fans are very exciting, so it's something that draw me to the club. Um, and uh, also know the goalkeeper coach quite well, Andy Marshall. So um, 
So yeah, the whole project is what um, was really appealing to me and I'm, I'm delighted to be here. When did you first hear of the interest? You of course joined the club managed by Gary Rowett. When did you first hear of the interest and what were the discussions that came forward from there? Um, it was uh, over the summer. Um, I was approached and um, it was uh, a long pre-season and um, at Wolves, um, a lot was going on. So it didn't happen as, as, as quick as I had wanted, wanted it to, but um, you know, I'm happy to be here and just can't wait for the first game. We know you're 26 years old, we know you're a Montenegro international, we know you have championship experience, but what don't we know about you? What can the fans look forward to seeing from you? Um, they can look forward to seeing a vocal goalkeeper, um, someone who you know, likes to uh, display himself um, and um, yeah, just be really present. I'm hoping I can uh, bring a lot to the team and uh, make that final step to, to get to the Premier League. Well, the fans that have been looking at your history might see that you were born in Grimsby, grew up in Belgium, but played for Montenegro. Can, yeah. you, can you clear that up for us, how that happened? Uh, so yeah, actually, um, when I was really young, I lived in London. So it's like coming back to London, it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I grew up in Belgium, played at Anderlecht, um, and then was around the Midlands for a while uh, with uh, Aston Villa, Wolves, Birmingham, uh, Shrewsbury as well, and Stoke last season. So uh, yeah, it, it feels like uh, it's uh, a full circle and come back to London where everything all started where I first started my football. So, uh, you know, it's nice. Speaking of the fans, I think you played against Millwall for Stoke last season up at uh, the Bet365. Yeah. But how much are you looking forward to playing here with the Millwall fans this time and they're not? In yeah, the definitely. Um, those are one of the games that I remember quite well because behind me they were really, really vocal, even though you know it was a home game for Stoke. So um, to, to experience that there, I can't wait to experience it here. Well, it's a good solid core of goalkeepers managed by Andy Marshall, as you spoke about before. How much are you looking forward to working with them? I think you met them all today, didn't you? Yeah, um, really looking forward to it. I've worked with uh, Connell at, at Birmingham as well. So they're a great bunch of lads and I'm um, just really looking forward to, to progressing every day and, and working with them and hopefully getting some good results. Well, it's an exciting time to join the club. I'm sure you're aware of the club just missed out on the playoffs by inches last season. Yeah. But it's an exciting time to be here for hopefully what this season and beyond could hold. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that's the reason why I, I've decided to come here because of the prospects of, of getting promoted to the Premier League. So, you know, I'm really excited to, to help and uh, to get the team up there. Of course, just under 48 hours from the beginning of the 23-24 Skybet Championship season, Middlesbrough away. I'm sure you're hoping to go straight into the squad. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping and, uh, you know, it's going to be a big game. First, uh, first day away at Middlesbrough. It's not an easy one, but, you know, I'm up for the challenge and uh, I expect everyone else will be, so I'm looking forward to it.